Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters and Patreons. And today, look what look what I got. I got a EMF tester, electromagnetic field tester, to see what is the um, uh, radiation, the electromagnetic field around my car. Bought this on Amazon. But few, here's a little information. So I wanna, I, I'm gonna test my car, the Tesla Model Y, the screen, the steering wheel, the floor, the glove compartment, see what happens. Then I'm gonna go into my house and see what microwave, I don't know, the stove, light bulb, see what happens there. So an EMF, electromagnetic field, has some kind of a measurement called non-ionizing uh, non and ionizing, okay? Uh, your phone, your microwave, your computer, laptop, whatever that is. And the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, recommends 0.5 to 2.5, a, a measurement called MG milligas, okay? So if you are, let's say, three feet from a, a microwave, you're probably getting 25 milligas. That's not good. So don't stay next to microwaves. All right, now there's a lot of controversy. I don't know why. I'm not a scientist. I'm not doing this for science. I'm just doing it to see and to share with you. You, I, I, There's a lot of controversy about, you know, uh, antennas and, you know, TV screens and computer screens and phones in your, you put your phone in your front pocket if you're a man. Okay, so things like that. What What is the, the, the electromagnetic field? What's going on? So we're going to do that. We're going to... Um, see what's what's around us and around the house and in the car and see what we get it's it's very interesting to me and the conclusions is your conclusion i just want to tell you one thing <clears throat> we live around magnetic fields all the time if you live by a, a high power a, 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 um, you know a, next to your house high power a, transmission a lot of people sometimes you live not too far from that or if you have the cell phone towers those can really admit, admit, and things like that, and TVs and laptops and computers, and you know what I'm talking about. Your electric car, your hybrid car, whatever. So let's do some testing and let's see what happens. Let's see if we if we like the results. Okay, so let's test the car, and then we and then I'm inviting you into my house. All right, here we go. Okay, to to my surprise and shock, uh, I I was not getting any reading when I was inside the Tesla. What? Just be, when I start recording it, I I looked at the um, at the meter. I put it by the screen, as you can see, and I put it uh, later on next to the steering wheel, and I was not getting any reading at all. So at the beginning, I thought, oh, maybe the the the, uh, the this meter is malfunctioning because I just bought it. So I kept looking. I put it actually back on the screen, and then I put it on the floor, and by the by the glove compartment because i know the autopilot stuff is there and the on the ground by the battery nothing bupkis nothing 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 so then i said okay so let's go uh, into the house because i'm not uh, getting any reading whatsoever let's see if actually this thing works and then i went to the house no, i put on the stove i put on the toaster and there you go once i got next to the stove the stove was just preheating and then you see the numbers go up to 13, 16, 4, back to 4. I'm going backward now. So as I get closer, they're, they, it's going to go to orange and then even to red. Uh, then I went to the, so I turned it off, obviously. Then I went to the toaster, just, you know, just toaster. And then as I get closer, obviously, you see 15, 34, 51, and going back, it, the numbers are going down. It was green and then orange again. So then I turned that one. Now, once I turn on the uh, the microwave, I put like on a minute. There's nothing in it, and the microwave was was a, a absolute catastrophe. I mean, even when I'm like I'm like about six or ten feet away from it, and it's already red, going to the 30s. Look at look at what happened when I get closer, over a hundred, and then like stay away from me, okay? Stay away. So. The entire kitchen, and I, my kitchen is not that big, but it's not that small. It's a big square, and, and the microwave was doing exactly what it is, sending waves all over the place. Now I went to the laptop, put, just put on the keyboard, 
I got a little bit of reading, not that much, you know, when I, as I got really close to it and maybe close to the, uh, the actual keyboard itself, uh, I got some reading. Uh, there was some beeping at one point. Then I went to the TV screen, uh, and I really had to get close to the TV screen, actually, to get something, to get something going on. And then there was like, it turned to orange. So it got to six, which is much more than two and a half uh, milligas. So you don't want to be closer to a TV screen, obviously. So then I turned everything off, and I turned on the microwave again. So I turned the stove and the toaster, just the microwave by itself, put it again for one minute to see if there was an influence from the other two appliances. No, the microwave was, it's like a nuclear bomb in your kitchen. So really, think next time when you use it. And if you do, stay away from it at least uh, 10, 10, 20, 15 feet. It's really, listen, it's the entire kitchen that it's covering with uh, the with, uh, microwaves, with waves. Okay, then I, I have like these LED lamps in my kitchen, uh, right above the island, nothing, I got nothing there. I tried that one, it's a low, low one, then I tried the, the hi-hats, also LEDs, nothing, nothing. No, no reading whatsoever, those are very, very, very efficient light work. Then I went to the, um, to the dining room, uh, those are more traditional uh, light bulbs, one of them didn't show me any reading, and the other one actually did a little bit. I think this one is going to be, showed me a little bit of uh, reading. Okay, you see, what was that, 2.3.1, something like that, if you really get close to it. So there's a lot of them. Once they get hot, they will emit some um, uh, radiation. They will emit some milligasses. Okay, then I went to the uh, internet uh, router. That one did show. See, that does show. It went to orange, went to 5, 3, 2, C. It will, the, the, the TV uh, converter, the TV receiver, channel, rec uh, channel changer, nothing, 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 zero. Uh, and um, again, here's back again, the uh, internet uh, uh, receiver. Uh, the PS4, nothing. I didn't get nothing. And also from the, um, from the uh, printer. I don't know the printer was not even on, so it doesn't even count. Then I went back to the Tesla. I said, okay, maybe now it will work. Now it was in the garage and it was charging. And again, very little. There was like one number and then 0.9 and then it went away. So very, very little. Not by the screen, not by the steering wheel, uh, not on the floor. I tried it on the floor. Uh, by the glove compartment, nothing. By the heat vent, nothing was there. Then, this is cool. I went to the socket, to the charge, to the charging cable, and that went bananas. The actual socket, that went really high, really hot. And even that uh, inverter that, uh, also went, went high, as you can see the numbers going really high. But the actual socket was really, really high, over 120, 30, something like that. Back to the back to the uh, Tesla on the floor, driver's driver side, nothing, nothing, green, 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 nothing, nothing. Okay, guys, conclusions. Uh, I have to say I'm very surprised. Uh, I thought maybe the the meter is not working. What I did, I went out. I've been driving around for about an hour. I had to run some errands and all that. So I said maybe the the tester, this uh, EM, uh, EMF tester. Uh, uh, it's not working well. So you saw the reaction uh, with the microwave. I mean, stay away from microwaves. Whether it's a toaster oven or regular oven or TV screen or laptop, it, it, it's working. So I said maybe because uh, the car was parked, maybe there's no reaction. So now the heat is working in the car. It's a little cold outside. Uh, I turned it on again, put it by the screen. Nothing, nothing, no. No uh, electromagnetic field, anything. No, no milligasses. Nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. Really, I put by the steering wheel. Nothing by the heat, even by the vents. Nothing. 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 The environment of the car. So again, this is not a scientific uh, experiment. I'm not a scientist. Uh, I did this because a lot of people asked me, and um, I was also curious. How, for myself to see what's how, how does it work and i have to say uh, the tesla battery is really really protected if you've seen it it's really from the bottom and from the top 
to uh, to prevent uh, the battery going on fire in case of a puncture from the bottom. So take it for whatever it is. I'm not uh, guaranteeing it. I don't know, but it, it looks it looks that the Tesla car is pretty much sealed in terms of uh, radiation and all that. But who knows? They say the same thing about cell phones. It's very controversial this whole thing. Cell phone, cell phone towers, and all that stuff. But I, I, I can tell you for sure that we don't we don't need an experiment. I, and I was actually surprised how much a, a, a radiation milligases does the microwave shoots. You saw my kitchen. I went like almost six, ten feet away, and still was spewing, spewing uh, 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 radiation. Okay, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.